Good morning, folks. You want to see what it looks like when a plasma filament throws a hissy fit? Everything is fine at first. Then someone made fun of the southern coronal hole. Punches were thrown. I had to bail out a couple beta spots before doing the news this morning. Turns out multiple filaments are visible from Earth's vantage point right now, including this one incoming on the north. Yesterday, we saw the collapse of the solar uptick, and that quiet ensues today. A far cry from the explosions we saw days ago. Solar flaring is back to struggling for sea flares in the Earth-facing disk, just about devoid of sunspots. The last ones are turning away now. It wasn't a uniform activity decline for the solar wind, but a decline nonetheless, and Earth's shield is feeling good today. Bring it on, she says. The Earth-facing portion of this coronal hole watch is ending through tomorrow, and we begin to wait for its coronal hole stream in the solar wind. Should be another solid one as the opening presents tremendous power. Brief note, two days ago NOAA announced that their data blackout would be on the 7th, but just last night they also announced that the data outages would actually begin today. In fact, at 6.30 a.m. until whenever they are done, we will be relying on Gong, SDO, and SOHO for all space weather monitoring capabilities. Luckily, the sun is kind of napping. Interesting article out on star formation. If you can wrap an electrical theory perspective around their discussion of black hole influence, you might be able to pull out what a thunderbolt would say about the article. Then this. Remember when this guy was like our hero? After a personal visit to Monsanto, he is now 100% full bore filleting the GMO pushing corporations and their poison. Now's a solid time for a flashback to my open letter on GMOs from last year. It's on our blog and linked for you below. On the heels of all the space weather of the past few days, a weak tropical system is developing in between Africa and Madagascar coast to both sides on a relative alert. Remember yesterday's convergence line? hoo That is a cloud line if I've ever seen one. And today's system is going to be very similar as it draws along that same convergence line tonight. Freezing rain, sleet, and snow, including a brutal day and night for parts of the south that don't exactly stock road salt and plow trucks. Over in Europe, Look at the convergence just about at Scotland now, power, with another power low developing in the Mediterranean. Both systems take a share of the top alert tonight. Like some weather shares, please. Down under, check the convergence just about at New Zealand, but just west of that, a cold front is going to chill Tasmania off in a big way and push everything north on its line. The clouds will make the pattern clearer. You've got the current conditions and shots of our star to close. It's 5.50 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.